Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh crap. Where is he? He disappeared. He disappeared. Where did he go? It's right around here. He didn't shoot at me, but uh, he certainly is, well, watching me. Where did he go? He was right around here. He couldn't have gone in my hangar bay because I have guns in there. I think I have some guns placed elsewhere in my ship, so he's probably not in my ship. I saw him go in this direction. Where did he go? Where did he go? Hmm. That's an issue. Okay, well, uh, I'm just going to quick fly around, see if I can find him. I don't precisely know where he went. Oh, well, well, he's certainly not on the ground because, yeah, there's sabroids all over the place. Uh, all right, I, I think he probably, uh, it's probably long gone. I, oh crap, where did he go? There's nothing around here, nothing above. Yeah, I. Well, he didn't shoot at us, which is a good thing. Maybe he is just watching us. Uh, but either way, that that's very very disconcerting. And so are those guys. Go away. <laughs> Uh, that's very disconcerting. We need to get those guns up super pronto. I gotta make sure that he didn't take anything, because, well, yeah. I mean, he obviously has enough material to build something. Ah, uh, hey, I can, I can enter stuff in this. Can I? No, access denied. Okay, well, that, that's an issue. Um, I'm going to go grind this away. Okay. I, that's right, I don't have any room, because I have, my person is absolutely full of magnesium, which is good. It's very good that we got this magnesium. Also, I'm gonna take these components. Alright, I think that's all that it took to make that, so, alright. Now I really, you know what, I'm keeping my guns on, on this ship, because we don't have any other turrets up here right now, so, there we go. Oh crap, I'm gonna have to turn my well, at least one of my batteries on to um, discharge. Where's my batteries? Okay, well no, my batteries are on, they should be working. Alright, good. We're going to at least be protected. Uh, I can work up here, well, for now. But our main priority right now is to get some Gatling turrets all over the place. Alright, uh, let's take a look at our magnesium. Okay, yes, we have plenty of magnesium, so I'm gonna take this, move it into our, um, into our assembler. Let's hide the empties as always. Move this into our assembler. There we go. Production. I think it's assembler number five. Yep, that's the one. We're building a bunch of these. We're going to need a lot, a lot, a lot of ammunition canisters. Also, large blocks. We're going to want Gatling turrets. I'm going to make at least two of those after we finish that. Alright, you know what? I'm going inside. <laughs> I don't feel safe out here right now. The Gatling turrets are nice and protecting us right now, but, uh... Yeah, we're... gonna be safe in here. We do have two interior turrets that will protect us if that guy decides to revisit us. Alright, that's... Uh... That's an issue. He doesn't look like he damaged anything. Everything seems to be in order. He's probably just giving us a warning to back off, would be my guess. Because we were getting a little bit nosy there. In fact, we were mining at his base, but, well... Not his resources. It's the planet's resources, and if I got to him first, I got to him first. <laughs> Alright, well... Let's take a look at that magnesium again. I think we're gonna have to transfer some over. In fact, it's transferring over automatically, which is good. In fact, we might need... I think we're out of iron. Is that what we're, no, we're not out of iron. What are we out of? Production. Summoner number five. What are we out of? Oh, we are out of magnesium. Oh, not enough power. Not enough power. That's an issue. So let's go and turn on... 
I thought I heard something. Okay, uh, let's go turn on our reactors. This is one of those times where I think turning on our reactors is a prudent solution to this because we need the power, we need those Gatling cannons, we need them now. <laughs> Alright. Let's take a look where are we going to want to put our Gatling turrets. In fact, what does it ex actually take to make a Gatling turret? So, missile turrets probably don't need those. I mean, his ships, the one that the sh one ship that I did see that probably is his, didn't have any guns on it, not that I saw. So steel plates, components, metal grids, large steel tubes, motors, and computers. Stuff we all have, so that's good. So... Thank you, thank you. Don't need all of you, but we will take many of you. 300. We're gonna take some metal grids. I forgot how many we need, because I'm crap like that. 40 should probably be fine. Now we need motors and computers, which we don't have many of, I believe. We can make computers, which is nice. Oh no, we have plenty of computers and motors. Okay, good. All right. Um, are we full? Yeah, we're full. Okay, so, let's go up top. Let's make a couple of these. In fact, I might want, might, uh, I might want to put one just right on the front of my ship, right in here, so that he can't access my oxygen canisters, because right now he can get into this portion of the ship, which is not good. All right. Let me grab the Gatling turret. There it is. I'm probably going to want to put one in my medical room. Alright, I can't actually put one here because of these blocks here. So... Let's just extend it out a bit. Alright, I keep on thinking that I'm seeing things now. No, oh, it's just those Saberoids, and... Well, I guess that's one way to kill the Saberoids, too, because, uh... These Gatling turrets will make short work of Saberoids, and then we'll be able to gather what resources the Saberoids have on them, not as though they have anything very useful. Usually just steel plates and construction components and stuff like that, but... You know what? It's better than nothing. And every once in a while, you can actually find... Um... You can actually find magnesium powder on those Saberoids, but that's kind of sort of rare. All right. That's all well and good. Now, in fact, I want to make sure that these are not going to get broken. All right. I'm going to get some ammunition because we do have ammunition now. Was that gone? Yeah, that was gone. I think I ground that away. All right. Let's uh, grab some ammunition. I know we made plenty of that. Okay. Deep breaths. We can make this. We can make this happen. All right. Um, do do do. Height empties as normal. We got that ammunition. Not the ammunition I need. That's the ammunition I want. We'll take 48. Enough of those is enough of those that will work. All right. He's guns pointing at something. I am kind of concerned that the gun is going to shoot my own ship, which is an issue. Because Keen still hasn't fixed that. Well. Okay. Well, it's not shooting at our own ship. It is kind of twitching, but whatever. That'll protect the front of the ship. Um. Yeah. That's good. That's good. It doesn't look like he got into here. However, I just realized this door is open, and... Where was that guy hiding? Because I, I came down in this direction, landed right here, and you know what? Come to think about it, I briefly turned on my Gatling turrets, and they fired. I thought they were shooting at the Saberoids, but they might have... Let's see here. Gun looked like it shot right... Yeah, he was probably hiding right in here. That is not good. I'm going to actually have to block up that hole. Not as though it's going to, you know, be much of anything. Hmm... All right, well, let's get our welder out. Um, in fact, I don't need to be using my jetpack. That's just a waste of fuel right now. Not as though we're in short supply of this stuff. 
which we are not, but uh, here we go. Okay, let's get a Gatling turret up and about. Probably right up here would be a good spot. I think this is where I had my Gatling turret originally anyways. No, it was right there. So let's put it right there because actually, no, let's not put it right there. Let's put it right here because these conveyors are still connected to the main system, which means it can still feed ammunition from the uh, from the cargo containers below. However, I need some construction components. Uh, let's throw all this stuff away. I need some construction components. Not that many, but whatever. There we go. Two Gatling turrets is going to be much better than none. Very nice. And I should also see, did it feed any ammunition in here? Yes, it did. And it continues to feed ammunition in there. Fantastic. All right. I'm feeling a little bit better now. I'm feeling a little bit better. We have a gun protecting the top of the ship, a gun protecting the front of the ship. Now we just need something protecting the engineering section of the ship, which is down in that area. I think an interior turret will do just fine. I mean, they... That guy probably could have absolutely wasted us if he wanted to, but he didn't. Maybe we'll find his find out his motives at some point in the future, but right now, let's play it safe. Because I don't know, there might be more than just one. Also, yeah, that that's damaged. Huh. I wonder how that got damaged. Thrust damage, maybe. Maybe I landed on it, I don't know. Anyhow. Let's take a look. What do we need for the interior turrets? Just interior plate, small steel tube, large steel tube, construction components, computers, motors, a lot of stuff. So we need a lot of stuff for that. So we're going to grab some construction components. 50 of those. Steel plates. We don't need that many, so we'll take 50 of those. Small steel tubes. We'll take all of those. Large steel tubes. We need a couple of, so we'll take 10... We need motors, and we need computers. Uh, I think that... Oh, need interior plate as well. And then let's grab some ammunition. What I think is 5.56 is what it is. Yep, the stuff. All right. Good enough. Looks like one of... Yeah, these are the interior turrets that are in our hangar bay right now. All right. Now let's go scatter these throughout the ship. I'm going to put one in the hangar, or one in the uh, engineering section that we always use, and then one where, uh, is, like, right through there. I believe there is a Gatling turret already there, but I think it's out of ammunition. I'll just refill it with ammunition, and I'll put another Gatling turret where I need to. All right. Oh, there's a Gatling turret in here. I completely forgot about that. That's good. Uh, it's good that it's there, not good that I forgot about it. So I guess we won't need one in here, but the medical room, that's thats the one that I keep forgetting. The medical room needs something to protect it. Okay. Metal grid. I don't need metal grid, do I? Alright. Let's head on through here. I think we're fairly safe. I haven't heard any guns fire. So I think we're set. I probably should reset up my my tracking as to what these things shoot at. They might only be um, shooting at ships right now. I might as well get rid of that air vent. It serves no purpose right now. Okay. Let's get the interior turret up and run. Oh, those are just the sabroids, I'm pretty sure. Okay. They better just be the Sabroids. Well, I, I didn't see that, that a player has died, so I'm guessing it's just a Sabroid. Well, at least it'll get rid of those pesky bug problems we've been having. Interior turret. Let's put uh, 20. Well, 20 is a bit much. 15 should, should be fine. All right. Let's see. What did... Did you kill anything? Hey, you did. Good job. In fact, you killed quite a few. 
Oh boy, oh boy. I didn't know they could climb each other. <laughs> On the bright side, they're all dead. Okay, well, let's grab some of this stuff. Oh boy. Well, plenty of steel plates from these guys. And at least I'm protected now, which is something I have not been for the longest time. Alright, this is good news. It's as strange as that sounds. Alright. We don't need that. Well, we'll go grab those Saberoid parts later if they don't despawn, which I know they do, but... They might not despawn right away. Alright, the other place we should put the turret is right here because there's a lot of value com valuable components in here that I don't want anybody stealing. Not as though they have been stealing. It looks like they're, whoever these people are, are quite well and set. They don't need to steal anything from me. It looks like they have everything they could ever want, especially if they're, you know, leaving a massive, like, mining buggy just sitting there. They don't need it. Unless it was abandoned because of the Sabroids. I don't know, but... Whatever the case is, they obviously could have taken us out, but didn't. Might be prudent to build a military ship. I don't know. It is also prudent to refill our oxygen and hydrogen bottles. Those are empty. So let's find our hydrogen tank. And let's find our oxygen tank. And there we go. Thank you. Alright. Let's see if we can't uh, get ourselves some loot from those Saberoids. And they're all disappeared. Well, maybe if I stand on the ground... This is, this, this is a great idea. Well, hi. I think the turrets did a good job of destroying these Saberoids. You know what? I'm kind of sort of curious now, whoops, don't want to hurt myself, how that guy got away. I mean, he was flying in this direction, I kind of obscured my view for a wee bit, he might have made it over the hill, but I'm almost thinking that he has, like, tunnels somewhere. Oh, let me grab this scrap metal, it's been sitting here since we crashed our ship. I, I don't see anything. I'm really curious as to where that guy went. He was in this direction, but he could have, you know, swung around the mountain. Maybe he had some sort of vehicle around here that doesn't have an antenna on it. This is an interesting thing. Hmm. Well, anyhow. I think we're all right for now. You know what would be really cool is if we could find some, you know, gold, silver, platinum, you know, that sort of thing. Maybe even some uranium so we can refill our reactors, but I'm guessing those guys have some of, of that material that we need. But I'm not going to go and raid their base at this point in time. Okay, well, that's good enough for now. I think we're well enough protected. Okay. Let's see how that refining is going. Refinery, alright. Plenty of magnesium powder. Let's take a look at our production. Assembler number five. It's made everything that we needed it to. So I'm going to hide the empties. And we're going to put some more ammunition on us, because we need it. We don't need 200, but we will take five of them. And we will put this in the arc furnace. There we go, and perfect! Now we got some more materials. Fantastic. In fact, I'm going to move this stuff back over to the refinery. So let's hide those empty, or to the assemblers, rather. Where is assembler number five? There we go. And 
There we go. All right, we have a decent amount of material now. We have a bunch of nickel, a bunch of silicon, a wee bit of gold, a wee bit of cobalt, a wee bit of platinum, and a decent amount of iron, and we can always get more iron. That's not an issue. All right, I'm feeling pretty confident now. Well, a little bit more confident than I was at the start of the episode, so that's good. I think we're going to just take the ship for one more fly around. It is becoming dusk out. It's been dusk for a while, but I do have the day-night cycle set to pretty long right now on this server, so it may be a while before it turns completely night out. Yeah. It's been about the same time of day for a while now. All right, let's turn that on, turn those off. All right. Actually, you know what? We need some more ammunition for this ship. I kind of uh, didn't have much ammunition to put in it before, but now I have plenty. So let's put some more ammunition in here. I think all the ammunition went to the Gatling turrets already, so I'm just steal some out of there. Yeah, they don't need 52. Let's take 10, nah, 20. And put 10 in each of these. Yeah, they're really low on ammunition. In fact, I still, <laughs> I still have magnesium in here that I forgot to deal with uh, from the beginning of the episode. Way to go, me. In fact, I have a lot. So let's let's grab that. Of course, I'm not going to be able to put it in the reactor. They're not connected. That's one thing I forgot to do. I should probably connect both of those. All right. Let's grab the rest of the magnesium that's sitting here. Let it refine. And we are full. I'm probably safe to turn off the reactors at this point in time. And so I'll probably do that. Just to save on what uranium we have. Alright. Alright, let's take a look at that. Reactors, tuck a block off. Also, Gatling turrets, now that we have two of them, we'll toggle these as our guns, save. Target moving objects, not just moving objects. Uh, small ships, yes, large ships, yes. Target characters, yes, if they're enemies, please do. Um, target neutrals, well, I don't know about that. Uh, hmm. Target stations, well, we're not going to be moving, so that's not really an issue. However, they if they do decide to build a, you know, gun station next to us, or a station with a lot of guns, yeah, I suppose that's always good to have. Conveyor system on. Well, only one of them can use the conveyor system, but yes. And if we get inside of our flight seat, we'll be able to control it, or our control panel will be able to actually control the turrets, which is nice. Let's also take a look at our interior turrets. Interior turrets, we have a number of them. We have actually a whole bunch of interior turrets. I didn't realize how many we had. Alright, we'll put these as interior turrets. We'll just overwrite the current block because now we have more to them. Let's make sure we're shooting at the correct things. We don't need to... Should we target at missiles? Yeah, let's target missiles. In case they, they decide to attack us. It can't hurt. Alright. I just want to take this uh, ship out for another fly around. See if we can spot where that guy was coming from. Alright. So. Well, we obviously know where his... At least some of his bases are, and we saw way off in the distance over there, about 10 kilometers out, that he has another base, but we haven't reached that one yet. All right. I don't see anything that's of any particular interest over here. I actually haven't wandered uh, through this way very much. 
Maybe there is something. Okay, well. well. I think we should head back in... I would actually like to head back to that mud flat and see what is up over there. Because clearly there was some sort of activity between last episode and the episode before that where some of those ship components disappeared. I don't know if that was caused by Saberoid activity or if it was caused by that guy or group of people for all I know. So let's, let's head on down here. See if they fixed anything. Why is there a big crater there? That's... Maybe that's just a graphical bug, but that wasn't there earlier. We'll take a look at it. Oh, what the heck? Oh, it's just a bug in the game where it looks like there's a crater, but there's not really a crater because reasons. <laughs> um, let's not target that. We don't want to upset them. I mean, obviously they're clearly watching us. Or at least they know of our existence. And... Yeah, there's nothing here anymore. And there's no crater over there, so go figure. Outpost, ship, wreckage, alpha, nothing has really changed. So... Hmm. Well, I'm going to just travel. Well, there is something over here. It's just, you know, a little bit of divots in the ground. Maybe that's... Maybe it was just really terrible bump mapping by the game that caused these divots to turn into craters. That could be... Could very well be... Well, there's silicon down there. Hey! And there's magnesium. Hey, I think we might want to check that out. Because why not? Is that a hole in the ground? No, that's not a hole in the ground. Is that a hole in the ground? That is a hole in the ground. I didn't know they had caves in this game yet. Well, we'll, uh, we'll have to take a look. I still don't feel safe parking this on the ground because of the sap. There's uranium! Holy crap, there's uranium down there. Yes, please, and thank you very much. I, th I think we'll be safe to park this. No, we're not safe to park this on the ground. <laughs> as soon as I got out. Or touch the ground, Sabroids popped up. Oh my god, jetpack on, jetpack on, jetpack on. Alright, where did that Sabroid go? Okay. They're all over the place. Come on, guns. Do your thing. Why are you not firing? That's why you're not firing. Okay, thank you. Good. I will take that. And I will take this. So what on earth are you firing at? Oh, quit, quit shooting that. You don't need to shoot at my... Well, they're certainly not my friends, but they might not be my enemies. They, they will be my enemies if I keep shooting, so... Um, where are target stations off? There we go. For now, we'll target the stations off. We'll... We'll deal with that as it comes. If we have any stations to shoot at, we'll turn it back on. Alright. Because right now it's just a waste of ammo. And let's take a look. There is a cave down here. Sweet! Alright. Let me reload. There we go. Not just a cave. There's guns down there. There's guns down there. Uh, well, I think we'll uh, deal with this in the next episode. Thank you folks for watching. And I will see you guys next time.